So over the past couple months, I've really enjoyed watching Mr. Who's the Boss. And yeah, there's some videos in terms of the content that I don't really care about, but then there are other things that I thought I didn't care about the content, and then turns out it was actually pretty interesting. One of the ones was, um, I'm talking about mobile gaming and how it's a scam or something. I don't game mobily or really at all, so it was definitely interesting to see, um, to see something about that, <laughs> I guess. And yeah, how much money those companies make and how much money people are spending, obviously. But this particular one, he was comparing Windows to Mac or Windows to, I, to Mac OS, uh, you know, or however you really want to phrase it. And on the screen is, is like the, 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 the summary of what he came to. He was looking at a MacBook Air and a Dell XPS 15. And of course, they're not designed to do the same thing. <laughs> but as you can see, it, it's not almost, almost an evenly matched thing. You know, I, I honestly didn't intend on, on talking that much. But the main thing I wanted to point out was there was one thing that he mentioned that I didn't quite agree with. Speed is a bit of a weird one in that on one hand, this is where you really feel the benefit of an operating system that lets you do whatever you want. Like with Windows, the fact that you can snap Windows into full screen and half screen is so much quicker than on Mac, where Apple's basically just said no. And instead, you're left there fiddling with your Windows manually until they're exactly 50-50. So right there, he was talking about <laughs> the speed. And, and yeah, I agree with him that when, when you're on Windows, it's so easy to just drag Windows have it snap into place the way that you want it to. And, and since COVID, they've definitely done even a little more in terms of how many windows you could have on the screen in particular ways in a manner that's essentially automatic. And given that Mr. Who's the Boss, who has almost 16 million subscribers and has been doing this for a long time, didn't know this, it took me a little while to, to figure it out too. It's not quite the same, but it does work. And right now I have two windows on the screen, two, uh, <laughs> two Safari windows. And most people want to just immediately get on top of the little button and click it. So you click it, boom, full screen. But that's not what we want. So we're going to come back down. And yes, we have our two windows. If you put your cursor over top of it and leave it, you get two options. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> you get several options. Of course, we can enter full screen. But here we have the options to go to, let me make this my right screen. And I'm gonna check this, click on that to make it the left screen. So immediately they are 50-50. Essentially what he was showing that, oh yeah, you gotta drag the, the windows until they're 50-50, which yeah, it does take time and it took me a little while to figure that out too. But yeah, that, that's a nice way to snap things into place. And right here you can adjust the actual width of each individual one. You can't really blame Mac or Apple for this, I'm 99% sure that Windows has some type of patent on window snapping. <laughs> so I just don't think Apple can do it. I mean, yeah, it's almost one of those no-brainers that you'd say, oh, why didn't Apple just do it? Also, Apple will do things or won't do things that you think are no-brainers. So who knows? But I, I'm, I'm fairly certain uh, there is some type of patent that Microsoft has on window snapping. 